Hi everybody, welcome back to some Star Wars Jedi Outcast and okay. We're right into the action already. You know what? Let's just throw a grenade in there. I'm gonna blow it up with my face and die. Alright, let's just save it back here. Jen will one day help me out. What the hell hit me then? I actually see what killed me. I actually legit don't know. And oh look where we're back to. No. Like, if you were not playing, if you were not quick saving, this is what you'd see. Oh, there's another guy apparently there. I got hit by something else. Yep. I have a back attack. I don't know why I'm not using it. That would probably be why, because I died one hit anyways. Okay, you know what? This is the problem. <laughs> what do you have? What actually? He's right in front of me! I had another back to tank. I don't quite get the nuance of these weapons, but they're really annoying. But, as I said, it's still a really good game. I think it just fits the Star Wars universe. Because everything is inaccurate. Alright, so this is like Pong. Well, kind of weird ass janky Pong. Or like ping pong, or I don't know what the hell. Can I can I just try and make sense of these pictures, guys? <gasps> All right, oh, here we go. This is actually really nice. We got a nice shield thing, and then we have health right here. We are now at full HP, believe it or not. If you're playing, I think uh, like the reason why I see zero fifty in in this in in the from my health bar is you'd have a hundred health in in the regular game, but I'm playing in the in the god awful Jedi Knight difficulty because you guys peer pressure me to do so. I, I, I actually, I don't even, I, I can't really play many of you. This is my doing. The turret kind of resets when it doesn't see anybody for a little bit. Is it dead already? Oh, it totally is. Okay, apparently it takes a lot less ammunition than I originally thought it did. Alright, let's have a look at what's up here. Uh, I'm not sure what I just did, but obviously some difficult work. So we have the green key card door key. Apparently this has multiple floors, so we're in for we're in for a good surprise. Oh shit, maybe I shouldn't stand under it. How many floors is this? Oh wait, we've been here. Oh, we just essentially, I think, unlocked, uh... Wow, okay, we... I, I, I wouldn't want to go back to the beginning of this place. So it kind of just all connects, never mind. It's apparently a one-way elevator, that's really weird. Or probably I unlocked the elevator to do something proper. So, but we have the key code to the green area, which I thought that was the green area, because that had, like... It was completely green. Alright, so we have two key codes so far, but we have one place here that we haven't been. Gotta hit the bottom of it. Yeah. Come on, this LP is gonna be us che just cheesing it. Look at this guy. That is a stir of intent, guys. We are not allowed in this area. He does his job well. He's like. Uh, honestly, deep down inside, he's like, "Oh fuck, it's Kyle Katar. He's just freezing up." He's like, "Please, turrets, do your job." Throw down your weapon. I actually could do that. I think. <laughs> I got shot that one in the dick. But there's no, there's no rules in the Star Wars universe about shooting people in the dick. I really don't like this guy. He's like the stealth master. There we go, we got him. As I said, both the weapons are actually 
they have their situations, they just don't feel good to use, I guess. That's just kind of how I feel about the the weapons, and you can see I'm kind of struggling with aiming them a lot of the time. I mean, it's, it's even worse actually in uh, uh, after, before I modded it, because it actually has a dynamic crosshair. And the dynamic crosshair is really bad. It's actually because this game has a third person mode, uh, which I'll show you in a sec. So I can go here, third person. But I disabled the crosshair because I have no dynamic crosshair. Which basically it's like, if I was kind of looking at the wall and then... Like, the, like the, basically what, what I'm doing is the, cr the crosshair actually stays in the middle of the screen. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Okay, we're, I, think, I think things are looking up for us now. I kind of want to go over there, but you know what? We're already over here, so let's continue over here. Okay. Someone clearly wasn't listening. Oh wait, oh this goes to a hundred, never mind. It's my health that stays at fifty. Okay, I lied. I I know my health can't go any higher than that, because I'm I'm using it back to tank now and I'm not Hey look at these guys. The fuck you just say? Yeah. Okay, no. Sorry, I just I like zooming in with my binoculars. Okay, we killed that guy. Well, I don't know what this guy was just... He was just kind of letting me kind of shoot there. I feel like I kind of need to go back, because you know what? There's no rush for that area, but there is an elevator up here, which could have some bonus secrets, you know? That's me. I'm, I'm, an, I'm an explorer, guys. Actually, it's literally... Oh, wait. Hello. Awkward. Alright, so... This is that, that gi ginormous room. And I guess we're gonna turn off their tractor beam or some shit. Oh no, it's protected by a red force field, of course. I actually thought that was, I actually thought that was ambient lighting or something. Like just some, like, dank-ass lighting, but no. Oh, but apparently I can turn it off. So, they, this is like, I guess the atrium of something. And I think we just turned that guy on. Yeah, here you go. It's got a giant laser beam coming into it. It's a good sign. Sorry, I'm under a lot of pressure, so this is my under, I'm under pressure gun. Yeah, fuck this place. I'm out. I don't need to be there. Oh shit, they know how to use the elevator! You know what? Oh, they weren't smart enough to go onto it, though. Oh, apparently I have no ammo for that gun. You know what? Look at that. holy shit, the guy just combat jumped at me. Oh my god, he's getting crushed. That's not the way I'd want to go if I was a stormtrooper. Oh, and he just disappeared. Completely, completely normal, guys. Okay, I found the sweet spot. Okay, oh, he went to where his friend went. You got, it's like, dude, this is like pixel accurate. This isn't a casual game, guys. Actually, you know, let me go get their ammo because I'm actually running out. You don't want to be caught without ammo. That's, that's what, that's what Uncle Kyle Katarn says. Oh, we got another uh, supply key, and we got. Actually, there was health there, so you know, it's a good thing we came back up there. Everything kind of went, it was beneficial for us. So uh, it's a good thing I went back there. You know, I won't lie. And then I guess we'll check out what's over here. Yeah, we know there's fire there. Oh, I pressed the panel. Uh, as I said, these cutscenes, I'm not going to bother editing because it's a lot of work for me to edit them in the first place. They have really nice cutscenes in this game, but that's just like short ass shit, so... No one's head is getting chopped off, so I don't really care too much about that one. Alright! What? Was this guy here before? Oh shit, okay, let's run past us. Clearly not safe. Uh, am I still there? I certainly hope I'm not still there. Because I don't actually see myself in this cutscene. Oh no, I'm right there. Okay, I'm very small. Whoa. 
What was that? Just another day at work, Jan. Uh, looks like we have some... droids. Why do they have droids here? These actually, I think, are pretty easy to kill, but... They're just having a conversation. My first time jump. Oh god, they're horrible. Why is this guy like aim wall hacking me? Uh, it's actually the guy over there. How many shots does this guy take to take this? Apparently they're fucking tanky. See, if I, by the way, regular fire is basically this, but it's very inaccurate. say a lot about the ammo consumption in this game but we killed them and they literally dropped nothing so they're actually a complete waste of ammunition so I actually probably shouldn't have even bothered with them fortunately though the game is nice enough to realize that I made a silly mistake by using ammo on enemies like this and it just gave me some ammunition right here so that's that's a good sign guys Ack diggity damn well we got some thermal detonators again and we have a guy just staringly intently at us here. So, Kyle is a bit of a social awkward guy, so he doesn't like people looking at him. Especially not like that. Well, I'm not jumping over there. Did someone just shoot me from over there? Oh, wow. He can apparently aim for me here. So, we have, we have a bit of a problem, guys. I don't think we're getting out of this one. So... Oh. The, ga the game tricked me. And apparently it's still sitting back there. I like how during my quick save and load, it did, the guy just shoots me in the face. Apparently there was glass here or something. I totally fell for that. I oh know, it's right here. Alright. So we can't go that way anymore. Uh, how nice, the elevator is automatic. Well, we can go up here though, I think. There we go. It may not look like an elevator, but it is an elevator. Honestly, I think brute force is the best way of dealing with these guys. Alright, here we have the satellite. I don't think we really want to do anything with this place. This is like a guy way out of distance here. Oh, there he is. Look at this guy. Oops. I, okay. I just had a back to tank. There we go. Look. Oh, maybe this is a good weapon. Is back. Oh, here we go. See, we made like a way forward. No, we didn't actually, but... Uh, let's just go with that story. Actually, we should just shoot these guys from here, because... It's not going to get any easier once I get into that room. Arrest him. Arrest me. I'm surprised nobody has figured out the strategy of circle side scraping here in this game. It's been the one thing that's been defeating me consistently. Alright, we're here, guys. We're in that room that people were looking at me weirdly in here. So let's see what these computer panels do. Literally nothing, actually. I actually think that place is a gigantic side area. With ammunition. Oh fuck, man. These guys fly really fucking fast, I have to say. Fortunately, I'm all the way back here. I'm getting super good at this. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna thermal detonate this guy's now. Because those guys fire like slightly faster and they're very deadly to me. Oh, I think we're good now. Oh, 
like I are we basically having this like this duel with with guns like just like like across the room from each other I found the last code there you go I think actually to be honest I think the code never actually changes um, wow this is really janky in this resolution it just kind of cuts into there um, yeah, there's nothing here that's the whole reason we went here completely useless I don't know how I hit him. But now we have the codes, now we can head back. Let's see what Jen's up to. Actually, no, no, let's not see what Jen's up to, because I don't really care. Alright. So now we have a giant laser beam, and I just used my health back. Whatever, screw it. I don't even know why I keep pressing that button. Alright, so this one is the nipple. Oh, I see, so... I think the idea here is you gotta make the shape of it, so you gotta go... I don't know why this one's really wonky. Alright, so we got that one. Alright, that one's open. See, it's like a three-layer security thing. I'm, I'm also pretty sure you can just kinda guess it, but... Uh, yeah. So this one is red and it's got like the two ping-pong things. Like this one... Uh, wait, is that one right? Yeah. And then two... Can we confirm it? Alright. And the last one is this guy. What the heck? Oh, I'm pressing both! I think this one was actually fine. I have to be careful. There you go. Alright. Jan, prep the ship for takeoff. I just want to check out one last area. Meet with the ship. And it's a completely new place. And you can see my level stats. Accuracy 37%. Can you really blame me? I don't think you can. And I will deny any Fire. knowledge of it. Let's go back to grenades. Apparently grenades aren't particularly accurate either. But that's what the inaccurate blast rifle's for. Alright, we got a supply key. Nice. What the hell was that that I just picked up? Is blaster pack ammo. Not something I can use, but it's it's there, just know that. Alright, we got enough ammunition now. Oh wow, we just we just got, went into the friggin' armory, but all they have are these dumbass laser pistols. Alright, well. Even when they're point blank, this left is useless. It's just inaccurate to, enough to never hit anything. Alright, I think we're good now. As I said, we, oh, wait, why am I doing this? We gotta be Kyle, guys. Except I never hit anything. And then, as I said, they get super lucky with their shots occasionally, so it's like, yeah. Like, the, the, the weapons actually do a crap ton of damage. That's kind of just the nature of the game, guys. I'm not gonna... There's no, there's no complaining about it. Alright, uh, we did take all the health, actually, here. Take one more gun, I guess that's it. I thought I thought I actually left some, some shit behind, but no. No, I didn't. Alright, looks like we can't go up there. Not like we'd really want to, because there's, like, nothing in that place, so... I guess we just can continue on. What the hell is this place? There's no escape. Fuck. <laughs> There's no escape, guys. Uh, I don't like the sound of this place. Look at the security cameras. Wow, this looks like a pleasant room. Good. The good thing is like like things there, but there's like turrets and shit there, and they have cells. And some guys are guarding a green crystal thing. Alright, so they got kryptonite here. Looks pretty cold in there. I don't know what I'm doing with the machine. Literally nothing, actually. 
Oh shit. It's a torture bot or whatever these things are. I actually don't know when I'm supposed to be able to shoot them. I think it's when they move or when they shoot at me. Uh, yeah, I'll just shoot at them a lot and then and then eventually I'll die. It's usually my strategy for everything. Alright, so we just moved that little hook thing. I can't seem to do much else with it. So I kind of want to get up there, I think. But we got to figure up a, w a way to get up on that second floor. I think that this place sucks, so I can't really do anything with that. Why do we even have this force field here? Didn't I, didn't I just get through a glass window? Yeah, I did. This is like horrible. I gotta go talk to good old Darth Vader about their safety security standards. Alright, uh, I see it here. What we're supposed to do. Alright, so... Jeez, it's freezing in here. Oh, yeah, we took a bit of damage. But, <gasps> see, this is it's nicely enough like... like it's like a nice little ladder up to this floor. So there you go. Let's go over there. This is a secret area apparently, okay. I just kind of casually sat there and I just fell down again and I took a shit ton of damage. So that secret area probably wasn't entirely worth it. But you know what? Kyle Katarn will be the judge of these things. And if he says it's a good secret area then it probably is. Oh shit. Kind of saved over right here. I didn't think the door would open, but I saved again, so it's all good. Oh, look at these bots. That's a lot of robots. Yeah, let's go back down. I, I like it down here. I don't like being on this narrow elevator. Okay. Hey guys, you that's good? You know what's good about this place? I can, I love this place so much, I'm gonna go up again. I'm gonna take more damage. Because I don't time that ventilation shaft that clearly has cryo freezing stuff coming out of it. This is the kind of, this is the kind of guy you do want to spam. You don't want to, like, just... Is that everybody? Oh no! Stormtroopers. No use hiding. I think hiding is working out pretty good for me. Arrest him. Alright. What the hell is this guy doing? Oh what the fuck? He's gonna just casually let me kill them. <laughs> My friend died, but I'm gonna just stand there. You know what? You know what? The AI, the AI, the AI is all right. All right. Let's see what's so over there is an elevator, but I think we want to get back here. Like obviously that platform is kind of meant for like you see an elevator right there. Obviously this platform is meant to be walked on. I don't know why they would build it this way, but yes. What we have to do is crouch jump. Well, I tried a normal jump, and actually no, crouch jumping doesn't work. No. If there's nothing else, well, I think we just destroy this thing. Apparently, wanton death and destruction is the always the key to opening things. Not jump crouching, guys. Not not this bug jumping mechanic business that you guys would, were thinking about. All right. Pressed a button and stuff happened, I guess. Yeah. We get to come down here and actually, I legit don't know what we want to be doing here. Oh fuck, that scared the fuck out of me. That was loud as shit. Alright. So this is clearly the, like, Aperture Sciences portal testing chamber thing. In this universe, uh, I guess we'll, get, we'll head over there. Since none of this is canon, that's clearly what it is at this point. This is now part of Valve's canon, guys. That's all good. <gasps> Okay, apparently the water is not my friend. What the hell is that possibly? It doesn't even look electrified, I just- I took damage. Maybe just allergic to water. Uh, that sounds like something Kyle would be allergic to. Alright, now we have this guy here. Let's just, I guess, go down here and... I, I know there's that cool test ass chamber there. I, I saved it up there, just in case. Now let's go to the test ass chamber. Fuck this. Hey, you, 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 you didn't hear music, trust me. It's just your 
you're just playing tricks on you. I don't know, it has to adjust the volume. So we want to open up this guy. Um, and I guess we're going to head back here then. But there's like a, a crap ton of turrets here, aren't there? Honestly, these things aren't as, as great of a threat as I originally thought. And we got it. We dealt with them all. All right, cool. All right, let's go up here and then. Yeah, there you go. You can crouch jump in this game. Oh man, holy shoot! It's a ton of stuff. All right, I, I'm pretty sure this is the way it works. I think this room changes configurations the next time I come in here. So I guess I just go over here. Pick up some of this crap. No, I don't actually. I'm pretty sure I take fall damage though, so. I don't know, that jump doesn't look doable to me. That one's the easiest one, so. There's like a couple, there's like three of these, so I think you'd get like each individual one. That's how you get your supplies. And that's why we want to come into this room, guys. Alright, well, let's, I guess, uh, head back over there. Not through, not through the water. Not through, water is bad for you. We certainly don't need it to survive, as we've learned from this game. Any interesting lessons from this game, you know? Alright, well, let's go down here. And I guess we'll cut it off here, guys. Uh, hope you're enjoying, and see you guys next time. Goodbye.